Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about AWS Instant Scheduler. And this is a neat tool that I stumbled upon recently. And what this thing basically allows you to do is to set up schedules so that you can turn on or off EC2 or RDS instances on some kind of predefined interval or predefined schedule. Uh, so say for instance, a common application of this tool or where it would be useful is if you have a bunch of EC2 machines that you use at work uh, and at work you're only typically in the office or working between the hours of nine and five. Uh, so you only want those machines to be online during those hours and shut down afterwards. This will kind of shave off some extra dollars that you're spending on your, your AWS bill. And the same kind of applies for RDS instances. If you just have a, a dev account and you have RDS instances, obviously you don't want them on, on the weekend um, if they're not going to be used on the weekend. Uh, so how this tool works um, is if we look down here, it's not actually a feature that is included as part of EC2, although arguably it should be. Uh, how this particular thing works is that it sets up a whole bunch of resources here. Um, and so we have a AWS Lambda, some CloudWatch events, and a Dynamo table here. Uh, and how this thing works behind the scenes is that you, you set up your config or your state in your DynamoDB table. And this allows you to set up uh, any rules or any config that you want to apply to certain machines. You can also set up groups via the tagging mechanism uh, so that you can kind of isolate behavior to only a subset of the EC2 machines you have on your account. Um, so this Lambda gets invoked every, I think 10 minutes is the default or something like that. And it checks what are the EC2 machines that are running or not running? What are the rules that exist in the Dynamo table? And it basically decides if any of the EC2 machines or RDS machines that are online or offline should be turned on or off based on the schedule that you have defined. Uh, so that's kind of how this thing works. And we can see over here that this is a CloudFormation stack, so we can launch this in the AWS console. I'm going to be doing this in the next video, which is a follow-up. Uh, this is a part one of two. So if you're interested in actually setting this up and seeing how it works, stay tuned for the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.